So, for the imperfect forms of a verb, the second person male singular has the same inflection as the third person female singular. And this is seen, for example, in Isaiah 53 verse 10. And we can look at the first part only. And we're reading here from New Jerusalem Version. Yet it pleased Adonai to bruise him. He has caused him to suffer. When you make his soul an offering for sin, and we can stop there. So the word for you make here is tasim. And as you see, it starts with a tav here, which some of the inflections in the imperfect do. So some of them start with a yod and some of them with a tav. But anyway, we have an imperfect form here. So it can either mean you make, referring to a single male or a single man talked to, or it can also mean she makes, referring to a single woman or a single female talked about. And what's very interesting here is that both of uh, these two meanings actually work in this verse here, since the word for soul here is a female word. In Hebrew it's nefesh, and it can mean like person or life also, but uh, anyway it's a female word and it's appended with a pronoun suffix for his so his soul is a single word in Hebrew and it's a female word. So it can be the subject of the verb tasim. And in this sense, this part of the verse can also be translated as when his soul makes an offering for sin referring to Jesus as making this offering for sin. And he did this in an actual manner. He did an actual offering for sin once and for all, for all times and for all people. But uh, since uh, this word tasim has two meanings, the more uh, common one in translation is when you make his soul an offering for sin, which can refer to us as in some sense also making his soul an offering for sin. And we do this through belief. We believe in what Jesus did. So what's really amazing here is that both these two parts of uh, the offering is uh, reflected here in the Hebrew, both Jesus' part as making an actual offering for sin, but also our part in um, believing in what he did, in making his soul an offering for sin through belief.